And guys, that's right. We're actually on the other side of the river here Look in Luling at the Dufresne Get Community you. Center, which has turned into a shelter. Now, joining us now is Parish President Larry Cochran. Bring us up to speed. What's the latest here in St. Charles Parish? Um, the latest is we've opened up our community center since 8 a.m. this morning. Uh, we've got about 18 residents here. Um, we're asking uh, our low-lying areas, by your gosh, by your desalmans, um, you know, if they need to come, they can come here and utilize our community center. The latest forecast, what are you guys expecting here? Uh, we're expecting a lot of rain. You know, uh, we've been working on our levee on the West Bank. Um, I, was, I just left out there. We just completed closure on the Parity Canal. So I feel really good on, uh, on the West Bank. And uh, we, we just got the guys working all over the parish right now. You know, we Hesco basketed by you those almonds uh, the last two days. And we're dealing with some of the elements right now. The wind's kicking. We've seen rain on and off yeah. throughout the day. But yeah. you actually have guys out there working right now to keep shoring up yep. and making sure you're protected. We got a crew going out to uh, Munch right now. We're putting five pumps on the levee out there in Munch right now. And as I said, they're working on the levee as we speak. A message for the people here in St. Charles. Uh, be vigilant. Um, listen to the media. Listen to what we're putting out. And um, stay inside. You know, let's get this thing past us and um, we'll be okay. So at this time, there's only a voluntary evacuation for the low-lying areas and there's no curfews in effect, right? No curfews in effect. That's right. All right. Thank you, Parish President. Thank you. Thank Again, you. Parish President Larry Cochran here in St. Charles Parish. Right now we're at Luling. This is the Dufresne Community Center, which has transitioned into a shelter as of 8 o'clock this morning, as you heard there. 18 people here. And again, if you're in St. Charles Parish and you need a place, a safe place to stay, they said this is where you will be taken care of. Guys, I'm going to send it back to you. Michael, Michael, if you can hear me, just a quick question from Sulla here. Have you been able, I know you just got there, but have you been able to talk to any of the people who are taking shelter there today? We haven't spoken to any of the people who are inside of the shelter. Those are kind of further back than we're allowed to go in. But we have talked to some of the people who are sandbagging and getting prepared here in St. Charles Parish. And again, the message from some of those folks is they just don't know what Barry is going to be, how long the rain could stay here and how long they could be feeling the effects. So these folks are telling me they just want to get prepared. And they said they'd rather be prepared and not have to use any of those sandbags or the food or water they went and bought than having to deal with the effects if they didn't have those options. But again, the folks here in St. Charles, it appears that they are getting ready and getting prepared for whatever may happen over the next few days. And are there any sandbagging locations uh, that people were able to utilize and take uh, advantage of today? Oh, there's dozens of locations to get sandbags here in St. Charles Parish. The one location we were at just about an hour ago is on the other side of the, the 310 bridge. Underneath the bridge there in St. Rose's where there's a lot of sand. The shovels are there. The bags are there. You just have to go out there and make the sandbags yourselves. And there's people doing it. There's probably a dozen or so, if not more people out there. At all times, we've heard as early as 6 o'clock this morning, people were out there getting sandbags. So these sandbags are available here in St. Charles Parish. If you just go to their website, you can see a list of locations and just find the one that's closest to you at home and go get that done and again just better to be safe than sorry in this situation.